Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the concept of an arc length or a segment of arc. What does that mean? Well, let's say that we have the central point of the circle right here. We have the circle and let's say we draw two lines from C to A and from C to B and the angle between them let's say it's 45 degrees. Sometimes we use Greek letter symbols to indicate angles. Of course, in geometry, we'll indicate that it's the angle from A to C to B. So it's this angle right here. And it turns out that the distance along that segment, along the circle, that is cut off by these two endpoints of these two segment lines right here, that can be determined by taking the radius of the circle and multiplying it times the angle that these two lines subtend. Hmm, but the angle must be expressed in radians, not in degrees, and then we have to realize that 360 degrees is equivalent to 2 pi radians. So radians is roughly about 57.3 degrees, so let's write that down, that comes in handy. So uh, one radian, one radian, radian is approximately equal to 57.3 degrees. Essentially, if we take 360 degrees divided by 2 pi, we get the exact value of a radian in degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the radius of the circle, which in this case is 10 centimeters, times the angle subtended between the two lines from A to C and, a to, and B to C. And so we know that's 45 degrees, but then we have to convert that to radians. So notice, matter of fact, it's probably better if I just write it like this, 2 pi radians, just, we don't have to write the word radians, but sometimes that clarifies it a little bit. So again, let's put in radians right here. Again, radians is essentially a non-unit, but it helps in the understanding. So for the moment, I'll just go ahead and put it in there so we know that that's what we're doing. So remember that 2 pi radians is the same as 360 degrees. So we're essentially multiplying by 1. So we didn't change anything. We just converted from degrees to the concept of radians. So that means that when we take 45 degrees divided by 360, we get one, 1 over 8 times 2, we get 1 over 4. So 0 0.25 pi radians times 10 centimeters will be the length of that segment. When we work it out, it'll be 7.85 centimeters. So that's how we find the length of an arc on the circle. Now, what if the angle was completely around all the way to 360 degrees? Well, if the angle was 360 degrees, then the arc length would be the distance all the way around the circle. But it still would be the radius times the angle. In this case, the radius times 360 degrees converted to radians. 360 degrees cancels out, so you end up with 2 pi r, and that's exactly the equation we need for the circumference of the circle. That's essentially where that came from. That's the concept. And so it's 2 pi times the radius to give us 62.8 centimeters. But the key here is to realize that if the arc goes all the way around the circle, then of course to get the arc length, it simply would be the radius times the angle. But if the angle is 360 degrees, it would be the radius times 2 pi or 2 pi r, which is the circumference of the circle. So you see the connection between the two. If it's less than 360 degrees, then you have to use this, this methodology right here to calculate the length of that arc and so make sure you convert the degrees to radians and that is how it's done.